Okay, so a big question I think that a lot of us always had, especially during WandaVision and just the Avengers moving forward is how did the people on Earth and everybody else know exactly what happened during the events of Endgame, Infinity War, whatever, if they were not there, there is no cameras recording and pretty much like how? So that was a big question we had, and we finally got our answer thanks to Miss Marvel, so let's get into it. But before we do get into it, I want to go ahead and ask you to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Can we get there before Volume 2 of Stranger Things? That's the goal right now. I'm very much so wanting to be there by the beginning of Volume 2, but let's talk about it. So... Pretty much everybody had a question during WandaVision when Monica was talking about how um, Captain Marvel was there, WandaVision was taking Thanos on by herself, and everybody was just like, how would they know this? How would they even have any ounce of knowledge about these events? Like, there was no news people there, there was no cameras there, it wasn't being live streamed. How would they know everything that happened on that, like, planet, whatever? Well, they do because there was actually a podcast that was made by Scott Lang, who was Ant-Man. So in the Miss Marvel um, TV show, we hear about this from Miss Marvel. And she talks about the podcast that Scott Lang has started, where he very much so describes everything that happened there. And this is how she knew information as well about what Captain Marvel did on that um, whole battle for Thanos and all of that. And I thought that that was a great way for Marvel to really uh, put it all together because that was such a big thing that people were wondering is how did anybody even know about any of this? It's not like there was like a big press conference or anything that the audience saw. So how would anybody on Earth know what exactly happened during these fights? So I think it's pretty cool that there's actually a podcast where this happens. And I'm very much so excited about this. So this was just like a quick little video talking about that. And just wanted to give my thoughts on it because I think it's a cool way to put it all together as well as tie it into our real world today. As we know, there is a ton of podcasts out there. So I think the whole thing with Scott Lang making a podcast makes sense. That would be a funny podcast too. I would definitely listen to that podcast if it was out. So very cool, very awesome news there. But yeah, as I said, I I don't know if I already talked about it, but I think this Marvel is such a great show. And I'm definitely excited to see more. My favorite character is the dad right now, so I'm excited to see what more this show uh, gives us. And I like this whole perspective of like Marvel Universe from somebody who wasn't exactly a hero to begin with and lived through all of these things. So it's going to be cool to see more of these events and all that be talked about from another perspective that isn't like an Avenger or a super being. Well, Miss Marvel's now a super being, but she wasn't a super being during these times. And that's what I'm most excited for this show. But let me know your thoughts, your opinion on Miss Marvel, if you're excited or not. What did you think of the first episode? And what do you think of this way that Marvel's patching everything up? Let me know down below. But as always, that's going to do it for me. If you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, hit that notification bell on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Let's get to it. And as always, I'll see you all of you next time. Stay safe, stay positive, my friends.